Hello, so um, I just wanted to come on here and like give an update of what's going on. Um, I'm going to try to not like get emotional or anything because I feel like all day today I've been super emotional about this um, when I shouldn't be like that yet. Um, so basically, last week I took a I took a test. I went to the doctor's office and I did like labs and it was the the quad test I think it's called and it checks for um, Down syndrome uh, some type of chromosome thing like 13 I don't know um, and it also checks for spina bifida and like whatever else they do other things um, and I did that like last week on Thursday I think and today is now Monday and I've been waiting for these results like every day i usually get emailed the results and i check them online um and everything's always good so uh today though i got checked my email and it took longer than normal and um i looked at the results and it said like i didn't really know what i was looking at because at first it looks like just a bunch of numbers and everything i don't really understand but then at the end it has like a summary and it says um, I screened positive for neural tube defects and the AFP value is elevated for pregnancy at, at this gestation and may indicate increased risk for neural tube defects. Screened to negative for Down syndrome, no increased risk for trisomy 18. Um, and then it has other things on here too. But I saw that and I was thinking like screened positive for neural tube defects. Like what's what's that mean? Um, so I googled like what's what neural tube defects are. Um, and I feel like I wish I didn't google it because it just made me more worried. And it pretty much says it's when the neural tube does not close properly. It can have um, neural tubes form early in the brain and spine. It can develop very early in pregnancy. The most common ones are spina bifida, a spinal cord defect, and an and syphinale, um, a brain defect. I probably said that wrong. But um, anyway, so I called my doctor's office and I was like, um, I, can someone explain to me like what this means? Um, like, cause I, I honestly wish they would have called me before I saw the results or like told me the results if it was gonna say something bad because then obviously I'm gonna like google something um but then I waited like I don't want to like cry or anything right now so I called them um no one was no one was available to speak to me and um I had to wait and I, I felt like I was just by my phone all day I was waiting for them to call me back and um they called me back like three or four hours later my doctor said that um he didn't sound worried um i mean he i don't know if i should be worried i wish i would have asked more questions but i honestly i wasn't thinking about it and i was driving at the time and like i don't know i didn't know what to say um but he said that um the afp for i wrote down notes of like what he was telling me um he said the afp for spina bifida came back elevated and um a we need to get a detailed ultrasound to look at the baby's spine and he's going to send me to a different doctor to do that um, and that that doctor will contact me to schedule an appointment and hopefully this week um, so um, I'm just trying to like state the facts of what's happening right now I don't want to like get too worried but of course like all day that's all I've been thinking is like if something's wrong or if um, like if I did something that or if, or if this can like I don't know I I just think the worst things I'm trying to think positive things now especially like then I told Angel and he's at work um so I, I called him and I told him like what is happening and um but, you know there's really nothing that we can do just like wait and see but yeah there's really nothing we can do but um wait to see if we can like get this appointment scheduled and I really hope it's soon because it obviously sucks to be like worrying about something and it taking like a long time to find out but yeah I'm trying to like think only positive things like maybe maybe it's an error or maybe like it's not that bad um but 
I just wanted to update. I didn't think anything bad would happen, of course, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just updating this and, and, uh, and I'll, you know, continue this with hopefully what, what actually happens. So, um, yeah. Hi, so it's been, um, quite a while since that last clip. And as you can tell, I was like super emotional and scared, honestly worried, not to really knowing what was going to go on. I uh, didn't have like a definitive answer of um, the baby like being okay. Um, and honestly, like it was something that I never really heard of or um, knew anything about. So I was even more scared because I didn't know what this meant. Um, now it's been about 16 days since that last clip that was october 4th and now today is october 20th and i'm in a lot better mood um i even yesterday even like the day after that clip and everything um i looked more into it and also calmed down um because at first obviously i was like freaking out um i feel like anybody would at least that's how i feel but um so today I actually had my um, appointment with a specialist. So it took a very long time to get a good appointment um, finally done. So I was looking forward to this day for so long. Um, every time I even tried to like edit that clip that you just watched or even watch, watch it, um, I would just cry again. I would just get like scared again. And and um, now I, I'm not worried at all because... I had the appointment and the doctor confirmed that everything is fine. Um, she checked over the spine. Um, she checked the brain, the stomach, the feet, the kidneys, all organs, the heart, um, the blood flow to the uterus, like checked everything that you could think of. She, she went over. Um, I have so many pictures too that she was able to like get of every, like literally a femur, hand toes everything um she got photos of all of it and i have them now so i feel so much better um we also had our anatomy scan on last thursday on i think it was the 14th that i was really hoping i would get like a confirmation of the spine then but uh i actually didn't because the baby wasn't in like a position that was um good for them to get photos uh, so I had to wait till today, but I'm out of breath and I'm sick. So sorry I sound like this. Also, I'm recording on my iPad because um, I left my camera in my uh, Angel's car, but I really just wanted to get this video edited and uploaded because I've been holding on to like that footage for so long, um, and I feel like I haven't I haven't felt right to put anything else on my channel when I when when I'm worried about this, you know. So. I'm so glad I don't have to worry anymore. I'm going to include some photos from the ultrasound. Like, we got to see, like, a 4D photo of the baby's face. Um, another, like, shot of the baby's face from a different angle. We got to see, like, their little nose and their lips and, like, that angle. And I feel like it looks like Angel. <laughs> like, just from looking at the nose. Like, look at my nose. <laughs> this doesn't look like my baby's nose. At least I don't think. I don't know. But, um, I think it looks like angels, and I think that's funny. I didn't get to see, like, the gender or anything. Um, I don't want to see that. We actually got that written down at our anatomy scan, um, and I gave it to my sister so that she could do a gender reveal, um, thing that we're doing on Halloween. I'm excited for that. That will probably be my next video to find out what the gender is. I am so positive that it's going to be a girl. That's just how I feel. One, I've been sick, nauseous. Even just talking about nausea makes me nauseous. Um, that is really the main indicator for me. And just the fact that I feel it. Um, but it, I could be so wrong. But Angel is swearing that it's a boy. And our, at our anatomy scan, we know we've seen the baby. Um, we didn't see like when they went to go look for the gender. But Angel thought he saw like it being a boy, you know, in the in the ultrasound. I don't really think so. But I'm excited to find out. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, come back next week or 
the week after whenever I post that for the gender reveal.